God, we just pray, Lord, that you just take us, use us for your glory tonight, that your name might be exalted and lifted up above every name. And we'll give you all the praise and the glory for it all. And God, we pray tonight, especially for these uh, that are sick tonight, that's got the cancer, Sister Bonnie and Brother Vernon, Lord, we pray for him tonight, Lord, and others, Lord, tonight, Hope and uh, Leroy, God, we want to remember them tonight. God, we just pray for each and every one tonight out there that's got cancer tonight, and uh, whatever the case may be, Lord, we know that you're able to touch them. God, we just pray that you just lay your healing hand upon them, Lord, and heal them, Lord, and uh, heal their bodies, Lord, that they might be able to do the things that's pleasing unto you. We give you all the thanks, the praise, and the glory for it all, for it's Jesus name we pray. Amen. Uh, tonight uh, we want to t uh, turn your attention to 1 Corinthians. There the 15th chapter. This is uh, Easter weekend and we want to wish everybody out there a happy Easter. Uh, you know, a happy uh, time in the Lord. This is a time that we celebrate the resurrection of Christ. It's not about the Easter bunny or, or the Easter rabbit or whatever, but it's a it's about Christ rising from the dead. And that's what we're celebrating this week. Uh, and uh, so I want to turn your attention to the resurrection of Christ tonight by the help of the Lord. In 1 Corinthians, the 15th chapter, it said in verse 12, Paul said these words, now, if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? They had people among them that didn't believe in the resurrection. We got people among us today that don't believe that Christ rose from the dead. They don't believe that. And, you know, that's critical to you and I that are saved tonight to believe in the resurrection of Christ. I mean, you cannot be saved unless you believe in the resurrection of Christ. That's that simple. Her salvation is based on his resurrection. And, uh, and uh, so we can't be saved tonight. Why would, what would we be saved for? If Christ is not risen from the dead, uh, then you and I, all this that we do for the Lord is all in vain. We're serving a risen Savior. Jesus said, because I live, you can live also. Because I live. And he lives and sits on the right hand of the throne of God tonight. He said, now if Christ be preached that he rose from the dead, how say some among you that there is no resurrection of the dead? But if there be no resurrection of the dead, then is Christ not risen. And if there's no resurrection of the dead, then he's not risen. But there's been testimonies that he has risen according to God's word. So uh, what are we going to believe tonight? Are we going to believe the world or are we going to be, believe the word of God? Are, are we going to believe the testimony that was left behind? That's, that's what it all boils down to. I mean, you can believe in what man's philosophy is about it, man's beliefs about it, but... Uh, the Word of God is the inspired Word of God tonight. Now, if Christ, if Christ be not risen, then is our preaching vain. It's senseless to preach. And your faith also is vain. You see, faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Amen. So the Word of God is no, uh, uh, no value if Christ be not risen. I mean, everything that we got, the Word of God, our faith... Our, our salvation, everything that we believe in in Jesus Christ, if he's not risen, we're just, uh, we're just, make, uh, we're just making a mockery, aren't we? I mean, we're just going through the emotions of religion and not uh, anything else. But, uh, yea, and we are found, the Bible says we are found false witnesses of God. We're testifying of God that God raised him from the dead if he be not risen. Because we have testified of God that he raised up Christ, whom he raised not up. If so be that the dead rise not. For if the dead rise not, then is not Christ raised. And if Christ be not raised, your faith is vain. Ye 
are yet in your sins. You know, that's what Jesus come for, to die for the sins of the world. I mean, if, it, if we'd all been righteous, he wouldn't have died. He wouldn't have laid down his life. If we'd been good enough to get to heaven, he would not have died, had to die. But because of one